Welcome to this look at Gold Rush the game, new out on console tomorrow. My first impressions of what it's like on console. Come along with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Gold Rush the game. It's been a PC game for a while, based on the Discovery Channel program, Gold Rush. As of April the 1st, 2021, the game developers, Code Horizon, with Discovery Incorporated, announced that they were going to be releasing this on console, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, on the 28th of May, 2021. That is tomorrow. Um, I want to say a massive thank you uh, to Shishtof at Code Horizon, um, who sent me an early release version of this. I mean, to be fair, a day early I got it. but And this is my first impression. We're going to have a look at it. I've never played it on PC. We're going to have a look at it on console. Now, I'm playing on PlayStation 5. It's a PlayStation 4 game, but it will work on PlayStation 5. What is the premise behind it? Well, to mine for gold and to make money. It is a realistic gold mining simulation game. You start with a simple bucket, hog pan, and lease your first claim as you begin to mine gold. You'll be able to sit behind the wheels of multiple highly detailed vehicles, such as a bulldozer drill, front end loader, or excavator, and dig gold on one of four unique mining areas with fully deformable terrain. Your plan is simple. Scout and plan your operation, buy new tiers of mining equipment, and let your gold business grow. But remember, every real business will face some obstacles, machines will break, weather will affect your operation, and interest on leased property will grow. To make ends meet, you'll have to embrace four season cycle and think about making extra money. Harsh Alaskan winters have impact on prices and even decreased durability of your machinery. Don't be surprised if a bear steals some of your, your equipment. Now, I mean, that's kind of the blurb bit from the start of it. We're on the start screen, as you can see. And we have got some settings we want to be looking at before we start. I've had a quick look um, on the settings side of things. If we go to settings, L, L2 or R2, go to controls. You've got your invert axis, Y and X, or X and Y. Then default player movement. I've put that, it comes normally as walk. I've put that default run because I found walk to be quite slow. Camera sensitivity I've got on 53%. That's going to be a personal preference for you. Then you can apply your settings by pressing uh, square and it will do that. What we'll do is come back out from there. We've got game settings. Now, we'll go through these very quickly. Head bobbing, that's as you're walking in machinery. Auto save, I've disabled. Now, that can go on every one hour, six hours. It depends how long you play it for. I've disabled it. I've just got into the habit of playing other games and saving at different intervals. That's just a personal thing. Now, this one's an interesting one. Everything costs $1. If you want to come on and play the game and just get the experience of being able to buy stuff and do all the different things without the headache of having to put in loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of hours, which it depends how you look at it, how you want to play it, you can have that disabled or enabled. I started with it enabled just to have a look because you don't start with very much in that way. You can kind of buy a few bits and get going, but you can come in and swap that and change it if you want to. I've got my units on metric, temperature on Celsius, but you can have that on Fahrenheit if you want. Clock type, 24 hours, I'm just used to that. Uh, now that one, gold nugget enabled, that's an interesting one. When you first do the first sort of panning job and you're digging in the dirt, you find a gold nugget. But I've, I had a very weird happening with that because it comes up with a message telling you you only get one. But I got a few. So I'm not sure about that. I've left it enabled. It does say you won't get any more after that. But again, that's up to you. Prompts I've got on. Uh, digging helper. It says enabled. I'm not quite sure what that did. But now machine failures, pressure system. I've got those disabled. Again, depends how difficult you want to go down the route with this. So, you know, you can have things go wrong that you have to repair. And again, I think as you get more afraid with the controls, as you start to play a bit more, you may well come in and start fiddling around with the settings a bit more. Intense lighting effects. Um, now, running background. I think that's machinery and equipment. And then random events I've got disabled. You can get various different things crop up. Again, we'll kind of see as we go through apply those settings and come back out. Sound settings, 
We've got the usual sort of suspects. I've got my music set to off because of you making YouTube content. Obviously, you can get pinged for that. Then we've got our help menu. Now, you've got DigTube, and it gives you, within the actual game menu, this. You can go in and you can watch tutorial videos. And then you've also got brochures. And the brochures go through all the mining basics. Now, that's also available in-game. So it's a really helpful guide as to what you need to do and when you need to do it. So if you get a bit stuck, you can come in and there's a whole load of different stuff here to go and have a look at how things work, how they hook up and all that kind of thing. I think that's going to be invaluable as you play the game. And then we've got our credits. So I'm going to go down to New Game, Select. Now, again, I'm going to go on Easy. I've never played this before. So, like it says there, gold nugget on. If you go into normal, some of those settings are automatically adjusted. So there's certain things you can and can't do. Then the hard mode, that's most things are off. Prompts are still on, but everything else is off. And then you've got a leaderboard thing if you want to. So I'm going to start with new miner zone. Again, the, everything for a dollar. It's no big deal just for having a quick look. Would I play the rest of the game like this? Absolutely not. Um, but it's worth a look. Uh, would you like to play the tutorial and learn how to play Gold Rush the game? I'm going to say no on that. And uh, we'll kind of crack on with it. Like I say, I had a quick look. haven't played to any of the levels, but I had a look at the controls. We'll see how we get on. Now, the other thing I was going to talk about, which hopefully will come up on the screen. Now, there's a kind of press kit thing I got that came with it. Uh, what is Gold Rush the game? Seven playable machines, four unique parcels of land, 18 advanced mining machines, and then you've got all this other stuff that comes up, possible breakdowns, perfectly mapped steering in each vehicle. You can hire a team to work on multiple claims as you get further through the game. You can watch the gold price chart, so you can keep hold of your gold and not sell it straight away if you want to. Buying equipment, all, you know, there's a whole list of stuff there to be looking at. So... There are two ways to get info about our in-game systems. The first is the journal. We just had a quick look at that, but you can access it through the main menu by opening the backpack. The second is DigTube. It's a library of movies about the game that the game company have made, Code Horizon. So it kind of gives you a, vi a visual tutorial, um, which can be very, very helpful. If you find anything not explained, please send us a message on their social media, which I think is a pretty helpful thing to have so this is the menu you kind of have in game again l2 r2 we've got our journal there's the gold map we've got a regular map which we can zoom in and out of as we go now we're starting off an old arnold parcel so if we zoom in on that and then come across that's the parcel land we start off with I say start off with, there's a few bits there, but that's where it kind of leads you to start off. And then DigTube is there available with various different videos. So as you go through, if you're looking for certain things, you're not sure where to find them, you can check on the videos and it will tell you exactly where to go to access those. So coming back out, there's a few limited offers, sales on various different bits of equipment. We've got $450, we've got no gold, no magnetite, we do have our pickup which is sitting just here. Now, the lighting can be a little bit odd, I suppose. Story notification is blinking on your screen. It means that part of the story is nearby. The closer you are to the story page, the file from the icon is blinking. You can disable it any time in the game settings. Okay, I'm assuming that's going to be somewhere over here. We have also got these points here, fast travel. If you click on that, you can unlock it again. Everything's set at a dollar. The prices will vary, obviously, if you don't have that set on. So you can unlock them when you've got a bit more money. You can fast travel to different locations. That will become very useful. We get into our vehicle. Press enter. Now, uh, R3 changes our vehicle view. Pressing it once gives you a behind view, but then you can't do anything with it. Press it again, it gives you a behind view, and then with the right stick, you can then manipulate the camera around. Bottom left tells you, show controls by pressing left on the D-pad. So at any point, you can do that to get information you need. What we are going to do, though, is start the engine up on the D-pad. Headlights right on the D-pad. Handbrake off. And we're going to head off. So, we need to start. 
Now, I was wondering when that was going to happen. This I have found a little bit frustrating, I'll be honest. Bearing in mind it's a PS4 game, we are a long way through the cycle of PS4 and I, I understand that the game has to render in lots and lots of stuff, but I'm playing it on a PS5 and I have found it's happening quite a lot that as I drive around the map it freezes and it does a loading screen. That can and will probably get a bit frustrating. I'll be totally honest with you. Graphically, it's okay. It's not, you know... I don't know what's the best way to put it, really. It's a console version of a PC game, so... You know... What is kind of expected... It's not a PS5 game, it is a PS4 game. A gas station is here, we may need that at a later date. Full refueling the vehicle. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it now, because we're on half a tank. Now, you do get a lot of very different things come up. If I stop the and handbrake on X, stop the engine up on the D-pad. If I get out and leave the lights on now, you get a message come up saying the lights will drain the battery if the engine is turned off. So you will get back in, turn the lights off, then we go to the fuel pump, and we hit that there to use the fuel pump. Put inside of our vehicle, just there. So when your cursor goes over wherever it is, you'll get up, you're, you know, you're able to use. Do I want to fill it completely? It's not overly expensive, I might as well, I'm going to need it. I'm assuming that refilled. Did it use any money? Can't quite tell really. Let's hop in and we'll soon see, won't we? We are refuelled. I won't bother with the lights now. Now, if you come on and do, there are a couple of tutorials. And again, if you're new to it, and it might not be a bad idea to have a look at the tutorials. I had a bit of a glance and you get um, various different icons coming up on the screen. If you want a more kind of open, see it's loading again. I think once you've been around the map a few times, it will have kind of rendered in what it needs, I think. We need to go to the bank because we don't actually own any land. So you can either lease land or you can buy land if you've got enough money. We do need to go to the bank and I've got to remember where that is. So what we'll do is just stop there. Handbrake on. Engine off because I don't want to waste fuel. Go onto our map menu. Look nope, back to our map. Fuel station. It's just have I just gone past it? It's right in the corner there. Yeah, old Glen Bank is what we need. And then we're going to head out to old Arnold. That's where we're going to start. But we are going to need some equipment. So if I go to my journal, so I said if you weren't sure, it will tell you. So tier one, this is what we're starting off with. Go to the bank, rent old Arnold parcel, go to the equipment store, buy a basic set, hog pan no pump, hog pan sluice box core, two mats, go to the cash register, bucket and pay, load up the pickup truck, change page, then it tells you where we need to go. So it really is a step-by-step -step guide. If you haven't got the kind of the tutorial menu on, we can do that. It's right there behind me, isn't it? Let's hop out. There's no other traffic. Like I said, I've got this set on fast. I just found it a little bit slow otherwise. So, bank. And this is where we've got our options. So, we've got parcels, gold bars, loans. You can take out a loan if you want to. You can sell your gold there. That's the stock. That's the loans page. That tells you what your daily payments are and your know, interest and that kind of thing. How many instalments you're paying it off on if you want to go down that route. Then we're on to our parcel. So old Arnold parcel. Now this may not be representative of if you don't have the one dollar thing on. So you've got buyout or lease. If it's very expensive, you're probably going to want to lease it. So you've got price per square foot. Then you've got rental fees because it's set on a dollar. It's actually not too bad, but I just wanted to get a feel for the game rather than worrying about the finances to start off with. So what I'm going to do, for a dollar I'm going to buy it. Now it also then says how many pieces of equipment you can have on that land. Now that's big machinery and things like that. 
So it says R3 upgrade plus one. At the moment, maximum machines on parcel is one. But again, because I've got it set on a dollar, if I press R3, I can unlock for a dollar. I do it again, unlock for a dollar, again, unlock for a dollar. So now it says maximum machines on parcel four. Again, that would be different if you're coming on here um, without the one dollar setting on. So what we're going to do is exit. So we own that now. So we can go and use that land. Now we need to go to... Where was it? We need to go and get that equipment that it's asking for. So our start machinery to get us going for some gold. I think it's up the road here. Handbrake off. Yep, just here is where the store is. So we'll pull in. Handbrake on. Engine off. Lights off. And out we hop. Now, there's going to be a lot of bouncing backwards and forwards in and out of the journal. This is where you get all your spares and odds and ends, your fuel cans, you've got fat pipes, thin pipes, really large ones, you've got various different fittings and attachments. That's when you get onto all the machinery based stuff later on. But as we move round, we have then got the base stuff. Um, so these are the hog pan mats. And it said we wanted a hog pan no pump, wasn't it? But again, we can check that really quickly. If we go to our journal. Uh, right, number four. Buy basic set. Hog pan no pump. Hog pan sluice box. Two mats and a bucket. So we want that. Why is that now not coming up? Press to order. We want one of those. Add. We want a hog pan sluice box core. I know it's going to be irritating. I'm going to keep saying it. That's all saying a dollar at the moment. Normally that wouldn't. Take that setting off and there'll be all various different prices. But to get us going, let's have a look. So we'll order one of those. One and add. We want was it two mats, wasn't it? So two of these. Add. And what else did it say we needed? Oh, it was a bucket, wasn't it? Buckets and add. Then we go to the checkout, which is just there. Use hog pan, no pump, sluice box, mat, bucket. Order. The equipment will be outside in the designated area for you to put into your pickup. We're going to talk about that as well in a moment. I am just going to double check. No, nope, not that one. That one. Hot pan bucket, yeah. The other one is just go to cash register. So, you've got trailers and pumps and all sorts of things that, again, you'll move on to later on. Those things will appear in these marked areas and you hook them up onto the back of your pickup. Now, something to be aware of. When I was having a bit of a fiddle around with this, you have to be careful in that I put a load of stuff in the back and when I closed the back up, it squashed it and things jiggled around a little bit. Weirdly, when I then drove off, I was missing things out of the back and I never found them. I, I don't know where they went. So just be careful of that. It may be easier to load things with the back down, but I think, uh, personally, I think with it up, it's a bit safer. I know it sounds ridiculous. If I pick that up, now we're stuff, throwing stuff everywhere, show my controls, I can rotate the object. So if I do, is it down on the left stick, and then rotate with right stick, you can rotate around. You can't actually... I thought you'd be able to go up and down with it, but it's not really giving me that as an option, just side to side. So you can rotate things around. We have also got another menu for all sorts of things, for the various different tools you've got. We don't need to worry about that yet. So what I'll do is lean over the back and hopefully be able to drop that straight in square to drop it down. That's in the back. We want the no pump. That says golden retriever on it, which I think is pretty clever. That's dropped in the back. 
bucket and two mats. Hopefully before the end of this we will do some panning for gold. I say panning, we'll use the sluice system and we'll get a bit of gold before the end of this. It's just, you know, more a... Uh, like I said, first impressions, let's have a look. What do we think? I know other people have put videos of, of had access to this a little bit longer. And if you've played it on PC before, that's great. How does it stack up from PC to console? It's a little bit... I'm going to be brutally honest. It's going to be... A, it's a little bit juddery in places. And the loading thing is a little bit frustrating. But it is one of those games... I honestly think break off, that you are going to, you can just get lost for hours, I think. Now, some people won't. Some people will come on and find the little tasks you need to do potentially frustrating. You might find them annoying and having to come back with some falls and hook things up and it may not be for you. But I honestly think if you're a little bit OCD, I honestly think you could lose you could lose, will lose days doing this. So, actually, you know what I need to do is check the map. We are currently there, and we need to head to here. So, there's not really a road through that way. What we'll do is go across there, across the railway line. I think we have to go out through the factory. Yeah. So we might get another loading thing come up in a minute. Cut, there you go. I can't remember, did I put the dynamic lighting on? I can't remember if I did or not. You can open the bonnet on the pickup as well. I think depending on what settings you go for off the start, if you do go for sort of damage and things like that, there's going to be a lot of repair work involved too. But what I do think I like off the start is they have got a kind of setting for everyone you know that if you come on here and you don't want all of that you just want to come on and play just have a you know a bit of fun do a bit of gold mining you know that kind of thing without it being too heavy a proposition there's enough settings in the menu that you can you can adjust it and switch a load of stuff off so it is like that. I like that. There's nothing I did press was. So in car, behind, and then the one we can move the camera. There's no, I don't think is there zoom in and out. Let me just check that. Rotate camera up, right, left, down, next camera. No. So we can't zoom any further out than that on the vehicle. But it's worth having a look. Because you never know, right past the factory. So that thing there that was flashing to the right, there's a story element there. The closer you get to it, and I think you just click on it. I haven't come across one yet. Now I know if you're... I, I normally... Farming Simulator is the game I play. That's what my channel is based upon. I do play other games. I have played other games. I've done videos on other games. If you are a Farming Simulator subscriber of mine or viewer of mine, Am I going to do a series on this? I don't know. It was very kind of them, um, Code Horizon, to send me this through to have a look at. And obviously, being that I'm a console gamer, for the most part, it kind of made sense. You know, hopefully I'm going to appeal to a console audience. Let's stop there. And break on. Lights off. Engine off. And hop out. I'm going to check the journal again because I want to make absolutely certain. So, load pickup truck, we've done that. We want the next page then. Go to the claim, find hog pan area, water source. Set up the hog pan, use shovel. Okay, so we've got a few steps there we need to be looking at. Now, the hog pan area, as far as I'm aware, the river runs... And I'll be honest, I know some of this simply because, again, if you're a farming simulator uh, viewer... Dagawin did a series on this on PC a while back and I watched quite a few of them so I 
I recall him doing the tutorials and bits and bobs on this. So this is our big plot out here. So when you get to bigger machinery and things like that, there's all stuff you can set up and big machinery and, and we'll, you know. Like I said, if I do end up doing a few videos on this, we may get to that later on. But I just wanted to have a look and let's get some gold. So there we go. That's the hog pan dig site. And over here, there's a story thing flashing. I'm curious about that. It flashes more the closer you get. Don't know about that. So I need to set this up. Maybe I should have done the tutorial. Where am I going? Here. Well, I'll open the back now to get the stuff out. Uh, what do we need? Let's move that out of the way. Just pop that there. We want the sluice box, don't we? So, don't really want to get caught in the fence or anything. There you go, you see just underneath there, that's lit up in yellow. I'll say underneath, in front of me. It's really hard to see with that like that, isn't it? Let's rotate that around, can we see any better? There we go, just behind there, that's in yellow. So if I put my cursor over that, as we get closer, that should now, there we go. So use puts that in place. That's the first part, by the river. Then the... <laughs> the golden retriever the hog pan no pump is next and that goes there we do have a light we've got this the lights on the car but we do have a, a torch as well right on the d-pad which is the same as in the car and once you've got these things hooked up on all the machinery you'll get these things come up these are the mats and I'm going to be putting two mats in. That will tell you how full they are. Because I think they have to be cleaned. I say this is actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be without the tutorial. Because a lot of it you end up, it's kind of guesswork. The mats, and they'd like, only because I've watched someone else play this. Do I have an idea? If I was playing this completely... For the first time, never seen it before. Tutorial, I would say. Let's get the bucket out of the way. Just put that over here. It does go a little bit juddery every now and again. I'm trying to think what the graphics remind me a little bit of. Borderlands, maybe? Is it a little bit Borderlands-esque, do you think? Or am I imagining that? Where's that last map? Right, so, put the mat in place, okay, what do I need to do now, back to the journal, uh, set up hog pan, the mats are in, use shovel to fill the hog pan with dirt, hog pan indicator, empty or full, Right, so that brings me on to the next bit. If I show controls again, see it on the bottom? You've got free hand and you've got a load of tools. Is it... I'm trying to think now. I think it's L3 and R3. Yeah, L3 and R3, we'll scroll through those bits. So if I go R3, we've got a shovel. Small shovel. Called the screwdriver. Screwdriver. Crowbar, wrench and parts analyzer. I think that's to see if things are broken or not. So we want, it's a shovel, didn't it? Yeah. So what we've got to do now is dig. So tool main action is triangle. Have I got stuff on there already? Where am I digging? No, you wash out in the water, don't you? That does, that looks a bit... Let's try there, shall we? Right, triangle. Ah, okay. So triangle does that. So it's towards that. Ah, right. So what's that saying? That's 11%. So what I've got to do then is fill the hog pan up until that hits 
Probably too old for me. Triangle, let's hide the menu. Go to there. Let's be a bit closer. There we go. Like I say, uh, you know, if if you are a little bit OCD, you're going to get really caught up with this. But I can also see that some people, this kind of thing will get quite laborious. But then I suppose the point being that once you've gone past the early levels and you've built a bit of money up, you can then go into the bigger machinery and this process then becomes a lot more automated. You've got bigger shovels because you've got, you know, diggers big diggers and stuff like that, you know. Right. You're lucky. You found the gold... Right, you found the gold nugget. They exist so the beginning of the game would be easier and progress would be faster. So again, if you just want to get into it and, and not, not feel like you're being bogged down, if you don't want to use any help, that's the option we recommend for best gameplay, then you can reject this nugget. You'll never find one again. If you change your mind any time, you can change it in the game settings. I'm going to keep it. So that now says I've got an 18 gram gold nugget. So in the right hand corner, it now says gold 17.68 grams. What are we up to now? 88%. Let's shuffle again. Ninety-nine. That'll probably do. So next step is wash the dirt in the hog pan. So I'm on number ten. Gold mining basics brochure. So we need to put water into the hog pan using the bucket, and then the mats will fill up, I guess, and. They'll have particles and stuff in them. So what we'll do is L3 to go back to freehand. We'll grab the bucket, not quite sure how it ended up there. And then water. There we go, use. And take it to there. So that puts water through that, which rinses through. And what should happen is the heavier particles, like gold and stuff, stay in the mats. And now that says up there, I'm down to 61% in the hog pan and 3% in the mats. So I suppose you could just keep going with this process until you get 100% on those mats. Do we want to go that far? Because that could take a while. I'm just very conscious of time. And I want to at least try and get some gold. At least do a start process. It is it's an interesting thing. So I guess as you progress, the next level up would be um, a hog pan with a pump. So I guess what that then does is you shovel the, the muck in, the pay dirt, as it were, and then what that does is drop that there it will then take water from here and pump it through there and out I guess that'd be interesting right uh, R3 has got a shovel back let's put some more in I don't know how much I want to put in here actually try and speed up just a little bit When you look at the size of, of the earth area we've got here, I mean, you, you could spend hours, literally hours and hours, up to 56. Okay. There you go. Just found a big nugget. So it's saying you won't find another one. I've just found another one. Is that a glitch? Is that... So I'm now set at 43 grams of gold. Is that not supposed to have done that? No, oh, that's very peculiar. 99. Okay, we'll stop there. Let's grab our bucket. 
We'll do this this time and we'll go through and see what we end up with. So, I mean, keeping going doing that until you've got 100% in the mats. Once you're at 10%, we're not going to get very much, are we? Maybe I'll do it one more time. What I might do is I'm going to cut. I'm going to do this for a little bit longer off camera. And we'll cut back when we've got a bit more in the mats. I think that might be the best way of doing it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. That's why we set the 17% at the moment, so. That's weird. I have dug a little bit of a hole. We're up to 44% in the mats. I found two more gold nuggets, so we're up to 99.464 grams. Back to the journal. So, wash the mats in a bucket. Then preparation. Well, we have to go to the tent. So on 11, wash the bucket. Well, we'll do that first. We'll wash the mats in the bucket so we're up at the bucket let's grab that let's put some water in it pop that down don't want that to fall over thank you so they're not looking as blue as they were originally detach Put it back for future use. Oh yeah, difference in those is incredible. Uh, right, why is that going to come up? Grab that. Give that a bit of a dunk. And put that one back. Okay. Now we... So that's interesting, it's got three and four. So can you put, extend it, or put multiple mats down, I wonder. I wonder if you can put another one there. Oh, sorry. That's something to worry about for another time. Let's pick up the bucket, and it's said to go to the tent. So we have a tent, we have a caravan. We'll worry about the tent for the time being. Right, so we have got a pan. Let's put this up on the table, shall we? Oh, I think just on there. Judging distance, there we go. So what did it say we need to do next? <clears throat> Number 12, preparation A, B, Big bowl, gold pan. So we need a big bucket. We need to put water in it. That's that, isn't it? So it's this kind of thing. <clears throat> I think these are the bits that people may start to find frustrating, the kind of backwards and forwards. But again, that is probably only going to be the early stages when you're kind of getting used to it. That's pretty heavy. I'm surprised I'm even managing to carry it. So that goes where? Back where it was, I suppose. Just put it down. Now what do we do? Boom, 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 boom. We have to pan. So I guess that into that. Inside bucket water. It's not very really clear, is it? 
planning system. Oh, yeah, right, there we go. 13A, bucket into the pan. Then the pan into the huge... Oh, right, OK. Then a bit of swilling. <clears throat> this this is brilliant. This journal system is fantastic. Right, pick that up, put that there, use. So depending on how much we've got there, I guess it's going to depend... Now, pick up pan. Go to this and use. Let's get menu open. Gold panning. So we are panning up, down, move right, left. So we need to get some water in here first. So we need to go down with R2. Let's get a bit of water in there. Is that enough? Then split it. Oh, yeah, look, look, look. Yeah. Boy, look at that. So I guess it will reach a point where you can't get any more out of there. And what do you do? Swill it out? So I need to take the gold out of there. What are we on at the moment? 99.464 grams. That's that bit. So, L3 gold picking mode. We want to pick up. Just doing that with tweezers. Oh, there you go, top right corner, 100.892. Pick. 101. Pick. This is, <coughs> is strangely satisfying. That's really surprising how... I don't think we're going to get any more out of that, are we? So if we don't get any more gold when we've swilled that a few times, we do... We do that now. Uh, rotate. No. Oh, there we go. So we'll just tip it out, do we? It's a bit worrying in case there isn't more gold in that, but I suppose the mud just dissolves. Exit panning mode. Go back over here. We must have more in the bucket because it was 44% full. Okay. Back to the bucket, back to that. Pick that up. Back over there. Bit of water in. <laughs> that is brilliant. Okay. So after a little while, I guess you just you just know you're not going to get any more. I will do a double check afterwards, but gold picking mode. Pick. Pick. Go back. We've got any more in there? Have I missed any? Don't think so. Right. So we want to tip that away. Thank you. Exit. And do it. Have we got any more left in the bucket? I've no idea. <gasps> We won't have any more. Not after that. Please tell me there's some left. Oh, that was it. Two goes. Right, so we've got 107.315 grams. What we'll do now is... I have no idea. Uh, let's leave the tent. Bear with me just a second. Sorry about that. Minor pause. If you follow my other channel, Farm Dog was uh, <laughs> was whining to go out. Now, back to journal again then, because I'm not quite sure what I do now. Uh, panning for gold. That says tier one extensions. Oh, so yeah, water pump, hoses, more hog mats. Sluice box extension, so you can have four mats in there. 
What do I do with the gold? Um, so we can upgrade that whole system, which is great. Tier 2 mobile wash plants and stuff like that. No, I want to get rid of this gold. Right, let's go down to the blacksmith. Gold ore, right, selling your gold ore. Nice. So we could keep hold of it, what we've got. We've got gold. We could just carry on. But I'm pretty sure we have to go to the blacksmith. Again, that's off the back of watching Dagoin, really. But Let's see. I need to find the blacksmith. So be back to town. So I'm pretty sure the blacksmith makes it into gold like ingots and then you take those gold ingots to the bank and that's how you get your money because obviously it's all good having gold in your sky rocket but until you've actually got cash you then can't buy new equipment to upgrade and move forward. Obviously this has been helped by the fact that we had those gold nuggets and as I said I'll keep coming back to that main menu all the things that we tweaked. If I was playing this as a gameplay let's play storyline have I was going to go about it I wouldn't have everything set on a dollar that, that just I wouldn't can I see myself playing more of this I can it is strangely addictive I'll be honest I, I, quite, I quite like it my only problem is because I have got that kind of uh, personality slightly addictive slightly OCD as well games like this there he goes the loading again I lose so many hours. Mm, that's a bit worrying. But the worry is with that, that um, because I do other things, because I've got my farming simulator channel and I do all my, my things, I do some snow runner, I've done other bits and bobs. Finding yourself completely immersed in playing something like this for hundreds of hours could be mildly detrimental now I need the blacksmith so map where are we we're here blacksmith is there right let's head to the blacksmith oh man that's good see unfortunately that is the only thing I really am hoping that it will just sort itself out after a little while now, if you're playing this on PS4, again, Xbox One, I don't I, I don't really play on Xbox, but if, um, I can't imagine it being much worse on PS4, but I don't know if the blacksmith has opening times, or... Oh, left engine running, probably shouldn't have done that. And left the handbrake off. Good move. Lights off. So what we should do is, so we want to smell all of it, do we? 107.3, smelt gold. It will take some time before blacksmith will smelt your gold bar, you'll be notified. Oh, okay. Oh, that's frustrating. Maybe I need to, do I need to skip time or something? How do I do that? Oh, there's a caravan, isn't there? I'm sure. Let's go back to instructions. Is there anything about a caravan there? Vehicles, seasons, spare parts. I'm looking down that side. Accessories, bank, gameplay. Mm. What I do know, though, is uh, this is going to be incredibly immersive with a whole load more stuff with all the different machinery fuel tanks, gold nuggetator, magnetite as a byproduct with separators, all the different big equipment with the, the different diggers and dump trucks. And uh, you know, well, I think we bought our gold here. I was hoping to get a little gold nugget by the end of it. You know what? So we so we don't end this on a, a kind of low point. I'm going to head back 
and see if that caravan, if we can speed up time or I'm not quite sure. It's only 411 though. I thought they would do it. Okay, and then we'll um, we'll come back and hopefully have a nugget to take to the bank. That's the next step. Let's do that, shall we? If I'd have thought about that before, I mean, I didn't know before, I suppose. So if I thought about that before, I could have sped through time before coming over here, but I didn't know that. There's probably... <laughs> uh, okay. That's alright then. That's okay. Now, I'm not going to check the gold markets at the moment. I really don't mind, like I say, but just before the end of this, I just want to get paid for the gold and dug out the ground. I'm just curious to see, but... I'm going to leave the engine running. I can get more fuel. No, handbrake. Got to remember the handbrake. Right. Actually, I don't know if it's walking up was enough, but you can just see in the light there, we have a gold nugget saying gold rush on it. Now, I don't, I don't think I can carry it, but... Where do we just put it in the back of there? I'm not quite sure how this works. Oh, please tell me I've just lost that. Where did that just go? I'll put it in the back of here. Oh. That looks tiny in the back of the pickup. Right. To the bank, people. Let's do this. So... <laughs> not in my excitement now I've got my gold what do I think I think I've, I think it's been quite clear from what I've been doing I think it has its pros and cons I don't think it's going to be for everyone I would say come on and have a go even if you're kind of a bit apprehensive is the wrong word but as I, as I just said it is strangely addictive and, I've, and I have just literally this is just have a quick look this is scraping the surface of what's available if you like big machinery and you want to kind of move forward on some bigger stuff, then yeah, there's, there's so much more that can be done. Where's the bank on the corner over there, isn't it? There's loads from the store. What we'll do, hang on, let's, I'm not sure where my bar will go, but we have got, as well as where we bought all the odds and ends and the equipment from, we've got this place here. Is it here? Now, oh, where is it? There's a store as well. I've lost it. Oh, is it back there? Hang on. For your bigger equipment. So if we come into here, we've got this place here that's got your excavators. I've done it again. <laughs> Handbrake. Yeah, look. Look at this stuff. This is madness. Smaller and larger excavators. We've got bulldozers, wheel loaders. Now these work exactly the same as our little sluice did, but on a much bigger scale. The trommels. They rotate. The water goes through. The stuff goes through. And you have grates and mats and all sorts of stuff. Old Arnold's trommel. So, yeah, I mean... It is just scratching the surface. I like it personally. I think it's great. I think it'll be good fun to play. I want to do more on it. I would like to do I kind of. I would like to do a playthrough, try and earn a load of money and build up to bigger machinery. I would like to. Can I find the time to do that in my day? I might just try. You know, the problem is I the snow runner stuff I want to do as well. Too many games, not enough hours in the day. But you be the judge of what you think of it. Again, massive thank you to Code Horizon for... Uh, I say not hooking me up. It was a day early, but it's still a day early. And I can't thank him enough for that. It's very kind. Now, do I take that in the back? Or do I just go into the bank? 
I guess I just go in, do I? With my nugget. Oh, please tell me it's not shut. Oh, that's interesting. Sell gold bars, R2. My gold bar, 96.58 grams. Now, we went in with 107, was it? You do lose a little bit. And I think... Yeah, you, you get, kind of get a bit of a kind of byproducty thing. Four thousand one hundred and seventy-six dollars. Let's sell it. Do I want to sell the gold bar? Yes, I do. So technically, I didn't have to have it in my hand or anything like that. And we are now four thousand six hundred seventeen. Well, that's what we're on now. Well, we've made money at the end of the day. We are in the shadow. It would appear of. Mind you, it is nearly half past five. It's starting to get dark. So that's where I'll leave it. Hope you've enjoyed it. I, you know, it comes out tomorrow. So have a look. See what you think. I don't think I've got the DLC stuff for this. But I might well have a look. There are some really cool features. Some really nice stuff on here. I personally recommend it. Depending on who you are as a person, I think is the only proviso. If you have enjoyed it, if you have liked it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. And if you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.